Today's topic is the top 10 factors contributing to violent crime. Hi and welcome to CrimeInAmerica.net. I'm Leonard Seitz, a sorum of the former senior specialist for crime prevention for the Department of Justice's Clearinghouse. See more on this topic at CrimeInAmerica.net. This is one of the most popular articles in CrimeInAmerica.net. From my review of articles, we understand that no one really knows with precision what drives crime in America, and responses to the question are principally driven by politics or philosophy. What follows will anger and disappoint many who fervently believe that their cause is essential to the argument. Considering this lack of consensus, we offer our views as to what drives or strongly influences violent crime. The first would be massive child abuse and neglect regarding those caught up in the criminal justice system, which is often cited in numerous articles as poor parenting. Second, poor decision-making skills on the part of offenders, which is probably driven by massive child abuse and neglect. The third is drug addiction. We do not include marijuana. Over 80% of offenders in the correctional system have histories of substance abuse. Fourth is alcohol misuse. Fifth are mental health issues, and the criminal justice system is now the principal provider of mental health services in America. Sixth is what law enforcement does and does not do. Multiple criminologists throughout decades have suggested the lack of relevance of police strategies and crime control until the recent unrest due to police use of force issues. Rapidly rising rates of homicide and violent crime, and the new research stating that police officers are unwilling to put themselves at risk through aggressive tactics seem to be connected. Seventh is technology. When I worked for the Department of Justice's clearinghouse as a senior specialist for crime prevention, the implementation of better doors and windows to deter burglary was the top strategy of the day. There are endless examples of vehicle theft and smartphone anti-theft technologies as effective. One of our favorite tech solutions is the availability of smartphones where everyone can instantaneously report suspicious behavior. Eighth is the most controversial, incarceration. In his book, Why Crime Rates Fell, Tufts University sociologist John Conklin concluded that up to half of the improvement in crime was due to a single factor and more people in prison. Ninth is repeat offenders in criminal history. 77% of felony defendants have at least one prior arrest and 69% have multiple prior arrests. Most charged felons have been arrested and before the courts many times. Tenth are alternatives to incarceration and sentencing reform. We are entering a new day of defining who gets formally processed by the criminal justice system. Keeping minor offenders out of the justice system may be necessary to keep people away from the harmful effects of a criminal record and allow the system to focus more on serious offenders. There's a lot more on the topic at www.crimeinamerica.net. Again, that's crimeinamerica.net. Thanks and have a pleasant day.